Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Teched Out. My name's Joe. We got some big news regarding Xbox this week. Uh, Xbox Series S got leaked and also confirmed at the same time with price. We got the Xbox Series S starting at $299. This guy right up here with the black circle. That will be $299 at retail come November 10th, which you can pre-order both of these guys on September 22nd. Uh, Xbox Series S to... Or, sorry. Xbox Series X... Uh, to the right there, that one's going to be $4.99, and that has been officially confirmed by Microsoft as well. So, now that they finally had the price told, or said, I should say, uh, what do we got, September now, and they want us to buy these things in November? Well, uh, thanks for giving us a chance to save up, I guess, if you haven't done so already. Well, we got Xbox All Access. Now, Technically, this isn't new. They did this last generation with the Xbox One X and the One S. Um, but now they're kind of marketing a little bit more, and I kind of want to get it out there because I think this is a pretty big deal and allows a lot of people into the Xbox ecosystem. So, for example, what this is, is instead of going to you know Best Buy or any tech store around you and getting one of these consoles, let's say you get the Series S and it's 300 bucks. Instead of paying that 300 bucks up front, you can go to the same Best Buy. You then do a subscription service for the console instead. Now, what do you all get with that? Well, for example, the Series S starts at $24.99 a month, so we'll just say $25. And the Series X starts at $35 a month. And this lasts up to two years. And typically on some, you know, subscriptions or anything like that, you might think, what about interest or anything like that? Well, for this one, there's zero zero percent. You're paying the flat twenty five dollars for two years, and you're gonna get not only the console, uh, but also Game Pass Ultimate, which allows you to play over a hundred games on that console day one once you get it, and on your PC if you happen to have one of those. And because it's Game Pass Ultimate, you're able to take Xbox. So you're able to take X Cloud on your phone and play games that way too. So for 25 bucks a month for the Series S at least, you're able to get into Microsoft's ecosystem and experience the whole thing. Pretty cheap in my opinion. Also, if you're worried about any online play or anything like that, it does come with Xbox Live Gold. Uh, no upfront costs whatsoever when you get the subscription. Um, a one year warranty, which is nice. And also, uh, how it previously works now, well, let's say you have the uh, the Xbox One X or One S. Um, they had it to where if you made 18 or the equivalent of 18 monthly payments, you were able to then upgrade to you know the next generation. So, for example, the people that are currently on this with the One S, you're able to actually, if you've made 18 months worth of payments, you're able to upgrade to the next console. Yes, let's say it's the, you know, you're going from the One S to the Series X, then that payment plan uh, might increase there a little bit because it is a more powerful console. Um, but keep in mind, again, it's for two years, all that good stuff. So still, in my opinion, great, great value for what you're getting and what you're paying. Um, obviously, where can you learn more information about this? Uh, obviously on Xbox's website, which I'll leave in the description down below. <clears throat> uh, then you can find a retailer. So you can go to one of these guys. Uh, Best Buy looks like right now is the only one that you're able to do this with. Uh, <clears throat> it says Microsoft Store, GameStop, Walmart, Target. All those guys are coming soon. Uh, no really confirmed date on when those are actually coming. I'm hoping with these new console generations and that such that they come around the same time as their release so november november 10th keep that keep that date marked in your calendar also you might be wondering uh with this subscription service and all that stuff am i able to bundle anything with it let's say accessories or something i want a second controller or anything like that uh unfortunately no uh what you get is what you get so you just get the one console with typically it comes with one controller the game pass ultimate and um, obviously Xbox Live Gold and all that stuff. So if you want any extra accessory or anything like that, uh, that you'll need to pay individually for.
So really on a final note and that stuff, who who exactly is Microsoft aiming this thing at? Um, personally, I think this Xbox All Access is for really anyone who wants to experience the Xbox ecosystem at its fullest uh, for from the cheap, really. Um, it lets them play on whether it be the console, so they get to experience that, the PC, um, and then not only that, but the phone uh, with xCloud and that such coming out, uh, I believe, end of hol- yeah, holiday 2020. So uh, really, you get to play a game anywhere, whenever. So that's pretty awesome. And not only that, but I keep, you know, talking about it, but Game Pass is, it's can't, it can't be beat right now. You have Game Pass Ultimate, which, like I said, lets you play on a lot of um, electronic devices, really. And not only that, but they just announced that EA Play is coming to Game Pass for free. So you're also going to get that. So anything coming out for EA, let's say Madden, uh, NHL, uh, maybe, you know, Titanfall or anything like that made by them, Need for Speed, uh, that'll be in Game Pass now, day one, once it comes out, no need to buy it. And especially if you have if you have Xbox All Access, you already have Ultimate, you don't have to worry about that. Just make sure you're making your monthly payments and you're golden. Um, not only that, but uh, because of the no interest rate, that's awesome. Also, since this is you know, a monthly bill, you're going to earn credit from this. So, you know, your credit score could thank you just for playing games, which how cool is that? I wish this was a thing back in, you know, high school or anything like that. That'd be awesome. Um, Not only that, but I really think this is for the parent or anyone who wants to give someone a gift of a console. Uh, For example, you do have, you know, Christmas and that stuff coming up, Uh, whether it be Black Friday or whatever or not, you really don't have to go out and fight for some of the consoles um you know and spend the three to five hundred dollars up front instead you know you go you know in case you you missed it or something like that you go the week or two before uh the holiday and you pick one up no upfront cost again and you know you're spending 25 bucks just per month uh if you do the math and that stuff you actually end up saving about a hundred bucks or a little less um when it comes to doing Xbox All Access versus just buying it outright. So, uh, and that's all obviously over a two year period, but if you were to buy all these individually with the intent of keeping it for two years and playing all these things, then yes, you actually do end up saving some money. So uh, it's a pretty, pretty awesome program and I hope Xbox promotes it as they should. And uh, I hope you guys look into it. I think even for PlayStation fans, you know, with the PS5 on the on the horizon and all that stuff, uh, no official word on, from Sony on that one yet in terms of date or price. Uh, but this allows even PlayStation fans to kind of dip their toes into the Xbox ecosystem on Game Pass and all that stuff, uh, while still obviously playing the awesome exclusives on PlayStation. So, uh, would this be something you guys are interested in? You know, would you ever uh, do a subscription service like this uh, with Microsoft? You know, and you know, what for exactly? What would be your reason? Um, so yeah, just leave those down in the comments below. Uh, I hope this was informative, all that stuff. Check it out if you're interested. Again, I'll leave the description. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description down below uh, where you can, you know, find out more details or see what retailers are finally popping up and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, it'll be awesome for consoles this generation, video games as, as a whole. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Again, hit that subscribe button if you want to stay updated on this kind of tech stuff, uh, whether it be consoles or phones or anything tech-related. Keep it here to Teched Out. All right, I'll see you later.